Today's topic, surface tension. I'm gonna use it to try to walk on the surface of water, and my friend Constance Zimmer and her daughter Coco are gonna use it to defy gravity. Welcome to Impossible Science. Hey guys, it's Jason Latimer, the world champion of magic. And today's topic is surface tension, and we're gonna use it to defy gravity. I know. <laughs> Now, this is a subject I've had quite a bit of experience with in my illusions of walking on the surface of water or walking on jets of water or even shaping water into an object. So today I will go into the science of what makes surface tension so strong. And I'm going to show you an experiment that you can do at home to make water to five gravity and it won't be a trick. I know, mind blowing. I'm going to show you how to make the water sit inside this glass even when it's upside down. And it's going to work. It will actually stay up there. All we need to know is a little bit about the science of surface tension. So your first question should be, what is surface tension? So let's take a look. Surface tension is a force that occurs in the surface layer of a liquid that causes it to behave like it has a skin or membrane. So how does it work? Well, if we take a close look at water, we see that water molecules are attracted to other water molecules. This attraction between like molecules is what scientists call cohesion. When we look at water molecules below the surface, they are being pulled in all directions by other water molecules. But when we look at the water molecules at the surface of the water, there are no water molecules on top. So they're missing that attraction above them. So our surface molecules get to form stronger bonds with the molecules to their sides and below. These stronger bonds means the molecules are being pulled tighter together, creating a tension that is not found in the rest of the liquid. That's why we call it surface tension. Okay, now that we understand what surface tension is, that explains why small animals and insects can walk on the surface of water. They're not applying enough pressure to break that thin membrane across the top of the surface. In fact, you can see this with a paperclip at home. Just take a paperclip and lay it flat across the surface of a glass of water and it will float. Now I use another paper clip just to lower it in there so that I don't break the surface tension because if I apply pressure or break the surface tension, it sinks. Now this isn't very magical to us because we now know that water can actually hold up an object. But can we use a surface tension of water to hold up water itself and defy gravity? We're about to take this to a whole new level with talented actress Constance Zimmer and her daughter Coco. <laughs> They're gonna help us online with an experiment you can do at home to make water sit upside down in a glass. And you're just gonna need a couple things. We're gonna need a mason jar, an empty mason jar, uh, and we don't need the lid. All right, and we're gonna use a playing card. I prefer to use the Impossible Science playing cards, but you can use anything at home, like a note card. But if you are gonna use a playing card, make sure you use the Joker, because we are gonna ruin the card, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this glass of water, or any water, and we're gonna fill up our mason jar. Now, we'll take a playing card and we'll place it on top, and we're gonna flip it upside down. Now, had you never seen this experiment before, this would look like magic. However, through questions, we learn the science in this one is there's a vacuum up here and there's atmospheric pressure pushing up from the bottom, which I will cover in another impossible science. But right now, this is an experiment we feel that we know, so it's not that magical. But if I take this piece of paper away and the water actually stays up in the glass. What? what? I know. <laughs> <laughs> now some might be seeing magic, but the real trick to this is the secret of surface tension. And the little help of a screen. Yeah, I actually added a screen to this when I was grabbing the card. I, I actually switched it with another one over here, by the way. <laughs> but to do this, you don't even need to be a magician. You just need to know the science behind surface tension. So, what you're gonna need for this experiment over there is you're gonna need a few items. You're gonna need a mason jar, the screw-on lid, you don't need the cap, a wire mesh, or a screen, a playing card, toothpicks, a pitcher of water, and it helps to have a tub. Now Constance and Coco, take your mason jar, take a screen, whether it was any type of mesh you could find around the house, a screen from a window, if you ask your parents, or if you can just find any cloth, uh, even nylon would actually work. And you're gonna put it over the top of the mason jar, and you're gonna screw this cap on. Now this would also work with a, uh, a bottle that you could put a rubber band around, something that's gonna actually hold that screen flat. Sure. So it looks like that. Can you use old pantyhose? Yes. Yes, you could. Okay. I got it. There we go. So we're going to take our pitcher of water and we're going to fill up the mason jar right through the top. 
That's good, B. Now, here comes the tricky part. Take this card. You're going to put it flush and cover all the holes at the top. It'll, all right? You're going to grab from the bottom of this jar. If you hold it between two fingers, if you can, on the bottom, that way it, it'll, it'll center itself when you flip it over, okay? You're going to flip it over just like this. Go for it. All right. Now try to keep that perpendicular, and you're going to take the piece of paper. Keep it perpendicular. There you go. And you're going to take the piece of paper away. Pick it up a little. Ooh. Now you have a few things that are actually holding the water up in the cup. You have the vacuum, the atmospheric pressure from below, and you now have the surface tension holding onto the screen, preventing the water from coming out of the cup. So what's happening is that surface tension and that vacuum is holding this water upside down. Now you can do two things. This is my first favorite thing to do, is you take paper, uh, these toothpicks and you can actually push it through the bottom. Without it leaking. Exactly. So how is that not puncturing the, the vacuum or the seal? Because it's actually, that's a great question. Because that surface tension is working in individual squares in that mesh. So when you're puncturing only one hole in the mesh, the toothpick is filling up that hole as it goes through. I know. And then what happens is as it pushes through, the surface tension is resealing that little hole. Now here comes the best part. You can actually just tip it out and it will start pouring out. That's Whoa. crazy. That's science. Okay. Take sure it's okay. <laughs> you wanna try it is really funny how you really think that you're gonna fail, but then you don't. And it's so ex exciting. Okay. Did you see that? Yeah, you nailed it. Perfect. Good thing I wore a black shirt because otherwise you wouldn't see that. Now I know why magicians always wear black shirts. Yeah, it's mainly for the toothpick trick. True. Oh! <laughs> punctured it a little too much. Constance, Coco, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show. You guys have been awesome. Okay, so there you have it. The difference between magic and science was nothing more than a difference in understanding. What sounded impossible of water actually holding up objects as things walk on the surface, or water holding itself up and defying gravity, it turns out it was possible given a better understanding of science. And you don't have to be a magician to do these at home. If you don't have a wire mesh at home, uh, go ahead and try an orange bag. I actually hear that will work. If you don't have paper clips, try a sewing needle. I've even heard that light coins will actually sit on the surface of water. And be curious and have fun with it and ask questions because you might be wondering about a question that none of us have ever thought of before. And you might end up changing what is possible. Like right now. Have I figured out a way to not break the surface tension of my pool? Or have I? I want to know what subjects you want us to cover on Impossible Science in the comments below. And if you like the episode, well then click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, stay curious, because the right question changes everything.